Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. So day 10 will take us to the 15th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Accenture Fair and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try to go weeks. Have a look at CFSV2 at the end of the video for the next one, which gets us into the beginning of July. I'll get time back for you in a moment. Just say about the first video says our 6 UK weather forecast. Uh, we'll also release an update for download and then more. So check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. For Gab's weather this. Thank you so much everyone. We only need to put on around, I think it's around 70 subscribers to get ourselves to 19.9k. So sub's moving quite quickly at the moment. If you could give us a sub, then thank you so much everyone for doing that. It would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to get 20k. We're very close now to 20,000 subscribers. So, uh, thank you so, so much, everyone, for doing that for Gareth Worthy. It's unbelievable. Right, let's start off with the latest weather map from Earth, Nordschool.net. So, low pressure is in control today. Deep low between Scotland and Iceland. Bring in a westerly flow from off the Atlantic as well. So, wet conditions pushing across the country, followed by showers. We're in an unsettled, low-pressure dominated pattern as we begin mid tropical summer 2025. Central England temperature is sitting at 14 degrees, a nice round 14.0. That's 0.1 of a degree below the 61 to 99 average, and in provisional to the 3rd of June. These are the GFS upper temperature amplification ensembles. So, next couple of weeks, looking at Birmingham today. The red line is the third year upper air temperature after Birmingham. So, you're below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment, but they're going to be lifting up as we head on into the second week of June. So, it looks like we could be in some quite hot weather. Briefly, I don't think it'll last all that long, but it certainly looks like it could have our first sort of plume and hinks like of the season around the middle part of the month. But they're probably coming down closer to average precipitation wise, quite unsettled for the next few days. Then we go into a drier period for much of next week. Now, by the end of next week, into the weekend of the 14th and the 15th of June, possibly turning uh, more unsettled and maybe thundering. Temperature normally is it's five days up to the 10th of June, below average. That's a bit of a turn up for the book, isn't it? Six to 10 day temperature normally is warming up, becoming above average then. And the 10 to 14 day temperature normally is also above average. Precipitation normally is next seven days, so 12th of June, near normal in most places. Eight to 14 day, though, is drier than average, as is the 10 to 16 day. So, a warming and drying trend, essentially, after a cool and uh, cooler and more unsettled opening. Right, let's start going through the chart. Dave, remember, South Lakes UK, make your own run. Looking big night on Sunday. Showery, west northwesterly winds, and quite cool as well. Through next week, heights rise to the south. We get this area of high pressure pushing northwards, swings the wind around to a southerly direction, low pressure out in the Atlantic. So we start to push up some very warm, if not hot air by the second half of next week. Check out those upper air temperatures. Yes, that's the first plume of the season. Uh, 15 South Ice Firm across England, Wales, 20 South Ice Firm into uh, the channel there. So so that's over 12th of June, remember, seeing the 20 South Ice Firm already pushing out of North Africa through Spain into France and getting up to the Channel. Uh, quite extraordinary to see that so early in the summer. Make sure what's going to happen in June and July, in July and August, I should say, doesn't it? Anyway, that probably get temperature to 30 degrees. Would depend on sunshine amounts, though. Obviously, with the low pressure out to the west, we would be generating instability and a risk of thunderstorms and whatnot, too. Right, well, this is our icon. It's looking again rather cool and showery for the weekend. To the start of next week, heights begin to build to ourselves. It pushes this low pressure away to the northwest. So uh, by the time we get through to next Thursday, again, very similar trend to the UK Met. High pressures away to the east, low pressure out to the west. The wind has turned around to the south. And again, we've got this heat pushing uh, north or through western side of Europe. 15 south iceberg across England, where 20 south iceberg into northern parts of France. It looks like we'll be hitting 30 degrees next Thursday, if that verifies. It's a little way off. Uh, cool and showery with the KMA. 
before the height of the weekend beginning. Let's see for high pressure then uh, starts to build and we swing the wind around to south. So yes, again, middle second half next week. Very warm to quite hot southerly southeast here briefly. But quickly pushed away by low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. However, the Azores high continues to look quite ridgy as we get into the middle part of June. So, um... I think we're probably going to see that Azores High pushing northwards and taking over the weather pattern in the second half of the month. Right, the GFS is midnight run. Cool, showery, northwesterly winds on Sunday. And then high pressure building up from the south, turning mostly dry through the middle part next week. High pressure then breaks to the east, switches the wind around to the south, but only briefly. Trough then moves in from off the Atlantic. So it's becoming very warm, probably around Thursday. And then, of course, some big showers and thunderstorms. After that, though, the high pressure really making its move in the second half of the bump. So becoming anticyclonic through the north and west of Europe under high pressure. Lots of warm, potentially very warm and dry conditions. That gets us 21st of June, looking mostly dry, warm and potentially quite hot then, low pressure out in the Atlantic, winds coming up from the south what about GFS 6 there by comparison well it's all much of a much less through the weekend to the beginning of next week, again middle of next week, high pressure builds to the east low pressure out to the west, wind is coming up for a southerly south east direction upper air temperature looking very warm, it's only a brief push up though, then low pressure heads in from the Atlantic, could be thundery with that low, but it's not long for the highs bridging back in again around day 10 and into the second half of the month, an anti-cyclonic signal, should be like a dry and warm weather, especially so for England and Wales if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Rose again. Subscribe to show show for for doing that. We need to put around 70 subscribers to get ourselves to 19.9k. Uh, so you could get a sub. That'd be amazing. So much. Okay. GM showing cool, showery west northwest winds on Sunday. Then high pressure builds up from the south. We build power next week, mostly dry. Second down under that high pressure. High pressure breaks away to the east. The second half of next week, thundery low moves up from Biscay. There'll be some thunderstorms with that. But the high pressure back in again for days 9 and 10, turning mostly dry and warm, especially so for England and Wales. And then finally, the East End rounds it all off. Cool and showering through the early part of next week. High pressure takes over. Builds to the east. Low pressure out to west, drawing up that southerly south east. You flow hot air, begins to surge northwards. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone. Hot air begins to surge north. We're coming to the thunderstorm second half next week, and we might hit 30 degrees. Uh, around day 10 and beyond it, well, high pressure increasingly influential. So, mostly dry and warm or very warm into the second half of the month there with the East Year. This is the precipitation forecast based on the East Year. Run from spreadshirt.com. Cool and showery to begin with. Uh, long spells of rain possible as well into the weekend. But next week, we see a section trend for a while anyway. Before those thundery downpours and potential thunderstorms break out as we get to around days 8, 9, by day 10, properly settling again. Meantime, I'll be up some table within the East Ham on Solve Day 4, day 10. For our Senate Metrops, get to the 15th of June. 29 members of the East Ham on Solve High Pressure South and the East Grocery Drive, potentially very warm uh, with that. And 22 with high pressure more towards the East, lower pressures out to the West. Both of them should bring wind up from a warm southerly direction. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we got gets 20 for June, 20 members of the ECM or with high pressure south, low pressure to the north, mostly dry and very warm with about 16 with high pressure out to the west, a chop to the east, mostly mostly dry but a bit cooler winds in from the north through the northeast and 13 with high pressure right out top of country, up to mostly dry and very warm as well. CFSB2 finally beats the 500 middle bar high top, which broke down in tweet periods. The first week period takes from February to the 11th of June, but next week looks unsettled with low pressure in from the Atlantic, so it's an unsettled start. We Week two is going to be the 12th to the 18th of June. And uh, that one with high pressure over to the east country. Winds coming up for a very warm or hot southerly direction. Could be a heat wave uh, very temporarily. Week three will be the 19th to 25th of June. High pressure right over top of the country. Should be dry and very warm. And finally, week four will be the 26th of June to 2nd of July. High pressure in. Okay, should be lots, lots of dry, warm, potentially quite hot weather through much of the period 
if that verifies, we'll see. Time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It shows everyone forward to hear that. Drop a comment, let's say, wait about this. All my videos, content, don't forget to tell friends back down to where things. It shows everyone for doing that. I'm rushing for it. I've got a second job to go to uh, by 2 o'clock, and time is getting on. So tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jamie, Friday, and 10 to 14 day as well. I'm live for channel members tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. too. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.